Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Geyer. I am a chiropractor in Arizona, and this is the first video, May 2nd, 2019, where I will be introducing myself as Dr. Fascia. So for some of us, what is fascia? Fascia is connective tissue. This is your upper trap muscle right up in here as we pull the muscle apart. This is connective tissue, fascia, scar tissue. It's got many names. But what it is is a continuous network of connective tissue that wraps around our muscles. It wraps through the muscles. It turns into the lining into our tendons and even becomes the lining of the outer bone, the periosteum. So connective tissue is everywhere in our body and as we move as a unit, it is responsible for that movement as a being. Not individual muscle function, but dynamic movement. So fascia is, in my opinion, and I think many others out there, this is gonna be the cornerstone, the turning point of our future of pain management, of vitality, anti-aging, all of this. Fascia is the future. So let's learn a little bit about fascia. Number one, it has the capability of compressing up to 2,000 pounds of force. So how does it get this way? When I am at a computer screen and I'm slouched over and my head starts to get a little forward and I do this day in and day out and then I fall asleep and I have a, sh a skinny pillow on my right shoulder and I start to glide over and over and over. After hundreds of times doing the same repetitive posture, your connective tissue is constantly listening to this tension, okay? Your fascia communicates at 720 miles an hour, the speed of sound faster than blinking the eye, which is nerve activated to the muscle. Your nerves communicate at 150 miles an hour. Your fascia communicates at 720 miles an hour. It's so quick. But the most important thing to understand is that it's always on. So even when you're sitting, even when you're sleeping, if you're under tension and your posture isn't in alignment or in a state of slack, your fascia will listen and grow tension and tightness according to the tension you're putting onto your body. So it is the one tissue that as massage therapists, physical therapists, chiropractors, we really need to address. It's the fascia. So in terms of kind of disease as well. Um, the founder of Doctors of Osteopathy, Dr. Andrew Still, he said in 1901 that fascia is the cause of all disease. So I was doing some thinking and I tried to read a whole bunch of books and I found out that your fascia is, it, is, it lives in an environment of a watery substance. So when we say that we have a human body made up of 70% water, it doesn't live in our blood vessels, it lives in the connective tissue, in between, not in the cell, but out of the cell and away from the vessel. So all of this kind of open space area in our body is water that is the environment that our fascia lives in, okay? And in that watery environment it is where toxins get released. And those toxins get flushed, which becomes our lymph. So the lymph drainage, which you know is where if you're doing something and it's stimulating lymphatic drainage, you know that's a good thing. That's decreasing your toxic load because it's processing it out of your body. That is your fascia, okay? So when you're eating something, um, I guess we'll kind of go into what, this is another reason why fascia grows and it gets really tight is dehydration. So when you're not drinking enough water, you're not housing your fascia in a nice environment to be supple and loose and flowy. Um, number two is inflammation, sugar, uh, all the processed wheat in America primarily, and um, alcohol, smoking, things that inflame us will cause this fascia to gunk up and stick as well. And we mentioned earlier the the repetitive stress of posture or even weightlifting or a sport activity, um, that will grow the fascia. So how do we release it? We use tools that essentially sweep and at a 45 degree angle, when we sweep the tissue, it helps plump up 
the, the tissue. Water rushes in, you hit cells called hyaluronic acid, and as those get bumped, those proteoglycans, water initiates infiltration into it to puff it up and allow for movement and fluid to, to occur with it, okay? So uh, these are some of the biggest takeaways with fascia, and uh, I hope to be a resource for the future. Check out more Dr. Fascia videos to come.